pretty Irish girl moves to a new town, South Haley, Massachusetts, and starts dating a popular football player. Some of the girls get jealous and decide to target her. They taunt her, cross out her picture on a student body poster, and post abuse on Facebook. It goes on for months. Her mother tries to get the school to do something, but it didn't help much. Finally, on January 14th, after a hard day of being constantly harassed in the library and hallways, having a cane drink thrown at her, and called inappropriate hurtful names, Phoebe Prince went home, picked out a scarf her sister had given her for Christmas, and hugged herself in a stairwell. Her sister was the one to find her, but did the mean girls know Gil? Well, they logged on and locked her down. But did the mean girls get away with it? <laughs> no. Seven girls were charged multiple times with stalking and criminal harassment, civil rights violations, and assault by means of a dangerous weapon. Two boys were also star charged with statutory rape. Cyberbully is when a child is tormented, threatened, harassed, humiliated, embarrassed, or targeted by another child using the internet, mobile phone, or other type of digital technology. So do you think you can hide behind the computer? Say those hurtful words and get away with it? Wrong. Bullying is illegal in 41 states, including Indiana. If something as fatal as suicide is committed because of immature kids harassing and embarrassing others over the internet or any type of technology, there will be an investigation and they will be punished. Words can hurt and they have consequences. Alyssa, how do you feel about cyberbullying? Well, I think it's a way for those people to show how immature they are and they just need to stop them. So what do you think about cyberbullying? I think it's stupid because people just won't say it to their face. They have to say it like over the internet. Brianna, how do you feel about cyberbullying? I think cyberbullying is a mean way for people to show what they're talking about and how people feel because some people cut their stuff and do other things. So what do you think about cyberbullying? Well, cyberbullying is a pretty bad thing, and it can also hurt a lot of people. It's very mean when you do that. It's wrong and not nice. Um, no. Go ahead. Um, it's wrong, and it can make them feel bad and not want to come to school and commit suicide. Um, I think it's really mean that people call other people names. Zach, how do you feel about cyberbullying? Uh, I think it's bad and people shouldn't do it. Um, it's not right and it can hurt people's feelings and maybe even make them commit suicide. I think it's rude for people to cyberbully and I think it's not good for the for the students who think cyberbullying is okay. So what are the consequences of cyberbullying? Uh, I guess you can get in big trouble. <laughs> and I would never do that because cyberbullying is wrong. What do you guys think is the consequences for cyberbullying? I think they should be kicked out of school and never allowed to see a computer again. Yeah. They should be like kicked out of the country and like sent to Guantanamo Bay because that stuff is serious. What do you guys think the consequences for cyberbullying are? Um, I think if cyberbullying was like on Facebook, they should get their account deleted. But uh, yeah, because it's nothing to be messing around with. So what are the consequences of cyberbullying? Well, you could get expelled from school and you can get in a lot of trouble with your parents. Hi, my name is Antonio. And I'm Abby. And we're here to give you some advice to stay away from cyberbullying. It's becoming a very big problem in our school and in our district. Well, first you could add your parent as a friend, so you're not tempted to do anything to anybody else that's mean because they can see what you write. Add people you only know personally, and if you don't know them, don't add them. And by any means, stay away from bullying pages or websites. You can get in trouble for just being on it or commenting on it. And think before you write on Facebook, because anything you write on Facebook could hurt anybody intentionally. And to add on to that, report anything that includes bullying or being mean to someone or just hurting someone. And if you're not going to do that, don't comment on it. All that bully wants is attention. And we are at the age of what we know is appropriate and what isn't appropriate, so we need to be together and show each other that we are really mature. And if you ever get a forward that is bullying someone, or like I already said before, just hurting people in general, well, obviously don't forward it. And please contact an adult or a school counselor. And don't spread rumors over texting, Facebooking, email, or just in general, because anything that you say isn't true could hurt other people. 
And everything on Facebook or in text messaging can be made public. Cut and paste is a click away. And come on, just don't make bullying pages because the things that you write aren't true and it hurts other people's feelings. Just think about what our generation could be like if we don't have bullying. And here's the most important advice. Before you're about to say something to someone or bully someone, think about what, how they feel and think about how you would feel too. You wouldn't like it. And if you think bullying is cool, it's really not. Being cool is... Is taking a stand. Taking a stand. Taking, taking a stand. stand. Say something, I'm giving up on you I'll be the one if you want me to Anywhere I would have followed you 